talk about first the missed field goal regulation and then going for two in overtime, your thoughts? Well, I thought, you know, obviously we have great uh, confidence in our field in John Barron. We thought we'd done it just right. Thought we were going to win the game, and John missed the field goal. Uh, obviously, they scored in overtime first. We scored on the first play, which gives you big-time momentum. And we have a two-point play that we've worked on for about half the season that is really a difficult play to stop. So I thought we had a decent chance to win the game right there, and there was no reason not to try to win it right there. Then obviously we executed the play, which we've practiced for probably the last five or six weeks. We executed the play poorly. We even got a penalty being in the wrong formation. So that's a, that's a lack of concentration on some people's part. Was it supposed to go to Kahali there? Right no. There? You mean the one they actually threw? Yeah. That, was, that one was called from the sideline. The one where we got the interference call is the one we work on in practice all the time. Was it always the plan to go for two, or was it just like you said because you scored on that? No, we scored on one play. We had all the momentum in our favor, so we decided to go for two then. Checking up all those yards in the first half, what kind of things did you guys do? I mean, you shut them out in the second half. What changed? Well, we did a very poor job of coaching in the first half. I mean, uh, we thought they were very explosive. We put some things in during the week that we thought that would uh, – confuse them a little bit and maybe give us a better chance to win and obviously that wasn't true uh, maybe we confused ourselves more than we confused them because we didn't play worth a darn in the first half so we made made some adjustments at halftime and ran those the whole second half and obviously played a lot better on defense in the second half which gave us a chance to get back in the game so that's all all on me that's all coaching Well, after the first half, we thought that he was playing okay. And then in the second half, we didn't think he played very well. We weren't consistently moving the ball. Even though we were playing decent defense, we didn't have a chance to get back in the game unless we got a spark from somebody or some, you know, a play or two. And so Ryan went in and gave us a nice spark that gave us a chance to get back in the game and had two chances to win it. That's out of our control, so you don't think about it or worry about it. Got a lot of concerns the way that we played down the stretch. Uh, so you have to evaluate uh, everything that you're doing. Uh, starting number one with me, I got to evaluate on how the program is being run and the message that is being given, because obviously the message is not getting across. Or they're not accepting the message uh, because you should get better as the season. Now, injuries have a little to do with that, but you should get better as the season goes along. And I, I don't think we got better at all. I think we're the same football team tonight that we've been for the last seven weeks, six, seven weeks. We were the same football team tonight. So we haven't gotten better. And so, number one, that starts with coaching. And I'm not just talking about me. I'm talking about our whole coaching staff. I mean, there were there were some things done tonight by coaches that uh, aren't good coaching. Coach, any thoughts on the senior class this year? Well, I'm, I feel bad for them since they were a part of a lot of wins. I mean, we still have a winning season this year too. So that class has been – they've never had a losing season. They've had some great seasons, and this one is kind of average, but they've been around here where we've done nothing but win. So, you know, it's, it's nice that they had that kind of career. So I, I'm sure they're when they get over the hurt of this loss, they'll feel good about themselves. What would allow the team to be able to bounce back uh, going into the potential bowl game? Oh, I don't know. I mean, it, whenever you play poorly, if you get extra practice sessions, obviously that helps you get better. And we have so many young players on our team uh, that haven't improved like they should have. It gives you another, it actually gives you another like spring practice. So you can work on some things other than about the last week of the 
preparation, you get ready for the game. The first week of the preparation, you can develop your team. Anything else for Coach? You said the ball's out of your control. Do you have any concern that you guys could possibly get left out? Yeah, I think we could get left out. I've been there before. A couple times I've been there before, a couple times. Coach, what did you think uh, made it difficult for you guys to stop the passing against Hawaii? In the first half, I thought uh, the game plan was terrible. I mean, we didn't execute it very well either, but the game plan was terrible. And we changed what we were doing at halftime, and it was much better the second half. I mean, in fact, they didn't score. I mean, they scored in overtime, but they didn't score the whole second half. Now, one of their drives, they were down to their two score, but they fumbled. And we recovered. So, But we played much, much better on defense in the second half than we did the first half. Uh, you know, we just went out there and tried to do our best to convert it. We just didn't capitalize. So. What do you think was the reason um, for signing up I had a lot of momentum coming in. We were at home. Figured, just go for it. Did you feel like you were in your group there, um, obviously scoring on the first play of the overtime period? Um, or do you think? You know, any time a coach just called a play, that's the right decision for us. So we just went out there, tried to execute, just didn't get it done. Yeah, we're talking about the, the, on the defensive side, how you guys were doing. Obviously, you kind of hunted down in the second half, gave up most of their points in the first. What was it like in the second half that changed and then going into overtime? Uh, we just, like, like Juwan said, we came out with momentum. Uh, you know, uh, all the underclassmen, we decided to just come on because, you know, this is seniors, potentially last game. You know, uh, so that's what we was really trying to do it for. We just had to come up for the seniors and try to get a win. Looking ahead, um, where is, where do you guys think that the team is at now? Obviously, this is a tough loss, but how are you, how are you feeling still with the, another game potentially? I mean, we're good. I mean, we just got to keep building. I mean, losses, losses, it happens. You win some, you lose some. We just got to keep building. We got to take this momentum to pop, hopefully next year, and we'll see if we, a bow game. And do talk about Ryan coming in there in the fourth quarter? We'll see. Christian played well, but then Ryan came in and just let you guys back. You know, just whoever's up, that's what that's what we preach on our team is to make plays, and that's what Agnew did when he came in. He just made plays for us. And no matter who's in there, uh, somebody's going to make a play for us to be, get a chance to win a game. So I think that's just what he was doing. Yeah, we talked about, uh, obviously, they had a lot of passing yards tonight. Um, what kind of led to that in the first half? What kind of change here? Uh. As a team, you know, we was, we we knew they were gonna come in pass the ball. We knew that they were a high percentage team of passing the ball. You know, our DBs they they weren't trying to give up B balls. I mean, obviously they gave us some B balls, but uh, that was just the whole plan not to give up B balls. And they were playing soft and coverage. And I mean, you know, after after you keep going throughout the game, you're gonna get comfortable and you're gonna test stuff out. So as you can see, second half we started hunkering down and stuff started going our way. We just couldn't finish though. No, I think it's just we have plenty of opportunities to win this game. So going forward, we just need to see what those plays were and, and try to get better at them as, as we move forward. Because every game we've played in and uh, ended up with the loss, there were opportunities to win the game. So we just got to figure out how to keep those from happening and just get better.